Yes, guys, what is good, everybody? Hope we're all doing well on this Friday afternoon. I'm your boy Klopp Talk TV. A bit of news uh, as a bit of a reaction to Jurgen Klopp's pre match press conference ahead of Wolverhampton Wanderers' visit to Anfield tomorrow in the Emirates FA Cup third round. Julian Lopetegui's men will hope to get a win at Anfield to galvanise upon Liverpool's poor form recently in all competitions. However, a draw in Julian Lopetegui's first Midlands derby will come as a little bit of an encouragement despite the late defending. Uh, with former Liverpool player Danny Ings scoring an equaliser. However, a bit of news on behalf of Liverpool is that Virgil van Dijk could be out for over a month. Jurgen Klopp has confirmed in his press conference that it was a harsh diagnosis and that he will be out with a hamstring problem, which sees him miss not only Wolves, it will be a race against time to be fit for Real Madrid in the Champions League last 16, but he will also miss the away trip to Newcastle and potentially the home uh, match against Chelsea, I believe, as well, which is in a few weeks time um, so not very great uh, despite the bad form that Liverpool have been in defensively it's never good losing your talisman at centre half and Virgil van Dijk more than most we know is a player that brings an aura upon this Liverpool team and that was representing during the Covid season when Virgil van Dijk had a heavy injury uh, on that right ACL um, where Jordan Pickford decided to just clear him out pretty much uh, look either way I hope Liverpool have the we have the squad depth in our position. I think to uh, be okay and be calm enough uh, to deal with the blows. Matip, Gomez, Canate are all players that we've seen can fit the mould uh, of a short-term fix 100% and I hope that they can really step up to the plate and flex their muscles in a position where you know they may, be, may have been deprived of a bit of game time if you're talking a bit about Joe Gomez. So I'd like to see how Joe Gomez folds. Liverpool will put a strong experience side ahead against Wolves and that will be important because not only are Wolves coming into this game with a similar form at Liverpool, three wins, two losses and one draw, they don't really have, they can, They do leak a lot of goals. And I think if Liverpool are to galvanise upon that with the likes of Cody Gakpo who could come in to play against uh, Wolves, then that could come as a bit of a surprise for Wolves defensively. Let me know what you think of Cody Gakpo. Will he start against Wolves? And how do you reckon his performance will go? That being said, we've got a whole Liverpool team selection to predict. So without further ado, let me get into it. I'd probably start Kelleher in goal. I think he's a cap go goalkeeper and I think... Start him in goal. Obviously, I want Liverpool to start an experienced side that I feel are well capable of getting the result. And I feel Kelleher has proven himself in those positions that he is more than capable enough to stand in and do a job. So, Kelleher for me, starting goal. Right back, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Robertson goes left back. Impressive when he come on against Brentford. Uh, in the back four, I'd probably have um, Matip and Gomez. Uh, I would take Kanate out of the fold. It weren't a good day for him against Brentford and maybe taking him out of the fold, despite the Virgil van Dijk injury, could do enough to just reset his confidence. Though I'm not too sure the injury status on Joe Gomez, but I believe he's available. And if he is available, I would like to see him get played. Uh, in the midfield, I'd like to see us go with a 4-3-3. Uh, I think that extra man in midfield is important because Wolves, not only will they crowd the box, they will also crowd the spaces outside the area. And we know players like Ruben Neves can unleash uh, 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 and pull the trigger from those positions. And that's where Wolves really get their goals from, outside the penalty area with too much space. So Liverpool need to be urgent. They need to optimise them pressing traps and really prevent the Wolves from getting that upper hand on the edge of the area. So I want us to start Fabinho. I hope Liverpool can start uh, a workhorse midfield. Um, I don't think Cater was... I don't, I don't even think Robbo was in training the other day. So maybe Simicaz comes into the fold at left back. However, in regards to the midfield, I probably... What I'd like to see is I would like to see Fabinho... Uh, Thiago and Henderson. Again, our midfield stretch too thin. But I don't want to go into that. I don't want to go into that. That's, that's the midfield I would start. And then up front, I'd like to see Cody Gakpo on the left. Uh, Mo Salah on the right. And then I'd like to see... Uh, Darwin Nunes up the middle. That's what I would like to see. Uh, let me know what you guys would change if there was to be any changes. I know, uh, it, I hope Liverpool can get the result either way within the 90 uh, and just be, pretty much get a little bit of confidence, utilise the FA Cup as a method of reprieve, get a bit of momentum ahead of the league and try and coincide that, uh, a good performance tomorrow uh, and put that into the league. It's not that Liverpool aren't capable of a good performance. I think Liverpool need to really flex their muscles this in, in, at this moment in time because 
after Brentford on Monday in particular, it's it's not one that makes a good read. And if Liverpool can pound that with Exeter in the, car, um, the FA Cup this year, uh, after obviously winning it last year. Uh, I don't think it'll be a bad thing if Liverpool do go out, uh, dare I say it, because I do think Liverpool... At the moment, top four is under threat. And I think if Liverpool really want to state their claim and get top four, entice top players in the summer transfer window to really rebuild that midfield, top four is definitely imperative. However, I want to see Liverpool compete for trophies just as much as any Liverpool fan. And I would love to see Liverpool go through. I think Liverpool will just do about do enough on the night. There will be a watch long for it. I fancy Liverpool to get 3-1. Three, three I reckon, let me know your score predictions. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And either way, uh, watch you make of um, the current news that Virgil van Dijk is out? That is the, the, the that's the breaking news. That is the highlight of the video, really. Uh, instant reaction to there. We we heard reports yesterday and a few days ago that it was a bit more worse than first feared, uh, which comes as a bit of a um, bit of a kick in the teeth considering our current um, current vein of form. But let me know what you guys have to say and. Um, I'd love to hear what you, your comments are. So, guys, get involved. Make sure you smash that like, smash that subscribe. Have, have a blessed Friday. Have a good weekend. Uh, and I will see you over content over the next few days. And, yeah, keep going, boys. Keep going, ladies and gents. I'm your boy, Crop Talk TV, and I'll see you very soon. Take care.